Hello students, upon request of several students, I am going to work out the important questions on engineering physics for today. Before going to start this lecture, I would like to let you all know that not to skip this video till the end of the session as I am going to give you inputs how to write this engineering physics. Engineering physics is not all about the theoretical aspect, it is all about the derivations as well as the problematic as well as the applications and the limitations of the concepts which have note on the board here. Please listen to the each and every question and I am going to let you know the important questions which have concise from the previous year question papers as well as the important concepts related to engineering physics. Please listen to each and every point as I have taken into consideration only 4 units here students as you have less time and you cannot work out all the 5 units. I have selected the short units and very important questions which are being asked for many years. I have considered the unit 1, unit 2, unit 4 as well as unit 5. I have skipped the unit 3 here. I am going to consider only these 4 units important questions. Hope if you are interested you can go with even the 3rd unit as per the syllabus copy. But whereas I request all the students to work out the unit 1 and unit 2 offer all the, all the concepts which I have written on the board including its derivation problems as well as some working principles. Why? Because unit 1 and unit 2 is going to cover the 4 questions of which you are going to get 30 marks from the unit 1 and 30 marks from the unit 2 if not 45 marks if 3 questions were asked in the question paper. Why? Because in few courses they are asking only 3 questions, 1 and a half question from the unit 1 and the remaining 1 and a half question from the unit 2. Please make sure to go and study these 2 units for sure and the remaining 2 units of which you can study any 1 unit either 5 or 4. Let's look into the concepts of this. First and foremost thing is that it is already known to you all that you have studied in your physics that what are the different types of forces and the problems related to it. You should know the minimum basic concepts related to the forces. Later the Newton's law of motion related to this there may be a derivation as well as the problem may be asked. Next inertial and non-inertial frame of reference is one occupation which is being repeatedly asked for the 7 mark. Next I would like to let all you, you know that out of these any one question will be asked for sure either a 7 mark or a 8 mark or 10 or 5 mark combination from the unit 1 stating that they derive the equation of motion for the coordinate systems when it is in spherical as well as polar and cylindrical coordinate systems. Make sure to work out all these 3 out of which you are going to get for sure one question dear students. Next transformation of vectors either a scalar or vector rotations. These may be one of the questions from both of this. You may be getting 8 mark or 7 mark or 10 or 5 mark split from this. That's the reason I have kept the question paper in I have kept the concepts in this fashion so that student would be able to read them and understand accordingly and work out the problems as well as derivations. And wherever you have the diagrams, please label all the diagrams in pencil only and do very neatly carry your pencil and scale with the examination hall. Next, expression for the acceleration and tension of a two bodies are connected. When the two bodies are connected, you are supposed to work out the derivation or the expression for the acceleration and the tension. This is very simple, dear students. Unit 1 is too simple, other than bit of 20-30% with the concepts you have studied new, and whereas the remaining concepts you might have studied already in your school days as well as in your intermediate. So please do work out all this. I can tell you that out of these first one, two, three topics you will be getting one question, I mean A and B, and the remaining you will be getting one more question for sure, 30 marks from the unit one. If not, I mean 15 plus something around 8, around 20 plus marks from the unit 1. Please do work out all these concepts. Wherever formulas, expressions are there, please do by heart them and work out sample problems also. We can expect 30 to 40 percent of problems also in engineering physics question paper. Let's look at the next unit 2. Unit 2 is all about the simple harmonic motion for mechanical harmonic oscillator. Very, very important derivation as well as the expression and the quality factor maybe for a 7 mark is asked several times and the equation for the damped harmonic oscillator and oscillation of mechanism oscillation of 
amplitude with respect to driving frequency is very 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 important when we are expecting this question and logarithmic decrement and problems and derivations related to this. If the question is being asked from the unit 2, the question will be of this from this, there will be one question that may be 3 and from the remaining concepts that may be 4, if 4 questions are asked in the unit 2 dear students, if not 3, six, Split will be from word of from here and the remaining word of from here. There are many derivations as well as many problems also. Please do work out and write down all the relations in the answer booklet. And I have told you how the ED paper need to be written. If you have not gone to through that uh, the video which I have posted in this channel, please go through it and find how to score good marks in the ED paper where I have elaborately explained each and every point, how to take the answer and how to take the problems to score a good marks. Let's look at the fourth unit. The fourth unit is all about the diffraction, single slit diffraction, concept of coherence and the differences between the inference and diffraction may be one of the important questions that may be asked for the seven marks for sure for this time I am expecting this question as well as the Young's double slit experiment with out of these two anything will be asked from these A or B. If the, the questions are being taken, only the important topics are being covered here which are written on the board. And the Newton Friedman's derivation and the diagram is very very important. We can expect even this also. Do not expect only the 7 and 8 mark. There may be A, B, C combinations also in engineering physics. Why? Because you have a lot of derivations coming to this part. So diffraction of light and a fraud for Hofer diffraction as well as dissolving power deriving expression as well as the problems and derivations also related to this all the fourth unit resolving power deriving expression is one of the concepts is very very important coming point of this fourth unit we are going to get one question from the fourth unit and sometimes they are asking even two questions also from the lengthy units if it is a fourth or third instead of asking one and two units plan accordingly and work out but whereas from the first two units you will be getting three questions for sure dear students whichever the concepts I have written on the board do not skip in a single point as I am writing the three and style five mark with five star because they were asked many times and do not expect the, uh, the star mark will be coming that means I am letting you know that that are very important and ask sometimes unimportant questions were also asked in the two courses exams which you have taken. If you look into the today's question paper of the chemistry, you will not get a question from the fifth unit. They skip the fifth unit. The question for the CSC branch in engineering chemistry from the fifth unit, there is not a question, single question. They cover from the four units itself. Make sure, plan accordingly, try to work out the four units to the minimum or at least three and a half units, dear students, without skipping a single point, which I am going to let you all know here. And coming to the unit 5, it is very very important and useful for you all and we have studied all things about the laser and you have prepared even for the mid 2, that is the reason I have taken the 5th unit which you have written in your mid examination 2. This is all about the lasers and its types under the ruby and CO2 carbon dioxide, HE and L, any applications and its characteristics. Do not skip any one in this file because this may be one of the expected questions of 8 mark or the 7 mark. Later, they are going to ask you sometimes the optical fiber and its parts and its applications and optical fiber applications as well as the principle too. It's all about theoretical aspects. And this derivation is also very very important. You have an acceptance angle and numerical apparatus, which is very important point, and types of fibers, and whereas giving refractive index provides for the propagation details is one of the question which is asked for your marks several times. So these are only the topics from the fifth unit. They are asking the question from the fifth unit. Please make sure to cover all this along with the problems and derivations. As I told that to read complete two units for sure, first time two without skipping a single point. 100% preparation should be there from one and two. As I told that in today's chemistry paper, they skip the fifth unit from the university. There is not a single question from the fifth unit. So make sure that to read at least any three units, 100% perfect. Keeping in view that you are going to score good marks and I hope you are going to follow all these concepts which I have written on board. I am not going to specifically write the complete question. I am just going to talk only about the concepts as we are engineers. We are supposed to talk and related to the concepts. 
score good marks and not put a backlog try to score 70 plus percentage in all your courses to get a good reputed organizations by the end of you need to place a reputed organization by the end of three to itself and hoping to see you all a better marking in the coming exam of engineering physics hope you are liking my videos and the videos which you have not gone through how to take the exam those all were uploaded in this channel please go through it after taking the exam expecting for a positive comment in the comment section and do share my videos and like it and subscribe to my trend channel please do that subscribe to my channel for latest notifications and updates thank you and good luck and god bless you all